I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Emilio Estefan and Consuelo Vanderbilt. They are the co-producers of the Latin Ignition. Emilio Consuelo, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. My God, we're so happy to be here. <laughs> what a different place to have an interview. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful to have you here at the New York Thank Stock so Exchange much. on the trading floor. So now, Emilio, let's start with you. Um, the Latin Ignition, The Magic of Art, is a groundbreaking, groundbreaking event that's taking place during New York Fashion Week. So tell me about the inspiration behind this show and what do you hope to achieve with it? You know, what we achieve is, uh, you know, achieve the American dream. Be able to, you know, give opportunity to, to a different crowd, minorities, to have you know, like a Latino minority to bring a different of the new fashions designed by the, the up upcoming the designers. But more than anything else is that these people have a chance to have something and we will play all Latino music and mix with all the other music. So I think it's going to be it's going to be like you being an incredible place, people uh, celebrating. This is to me it's more a celebration and a great opportunity for a lot of people. OK. All right. So Consuelo, you've partnered with Emilio on this. How is Soho Muse contributing to the creative aspects of this event? And what role does it play in connecting professionals in the creative industry? Thank you so much. Well, firstly, it's such an honor to be collaborating with Emilio and Um So Soho Muse, we really are the LinkedIn for creatives, but we do everything that LinkedIn doesn't do in the sense of we try to provide job opportunities and give really hope to you know providing the creative industry um, with not only like being able to collaborate, to be able to connect, and especially within this new demographic and opportunity that we haven't been able to really access before. So when we look at this now, just as Emilio said, it's providing hope, it's providing inspiration, and because we're dealing with all demographics in the creative industry, so that's musicians, it's hairstylists, it's both below the line talent and above the line talent. So for us, it's really, it's about everything. It's about building projects. So when we look at this, and it's like, it's an entire infusion of the creative industry. And we're like, why can't we come in right now and actually bridge opportunities for this entirely, you know, kind of wonderful market that we don't believe has really been able to kind of, I would say, be, be featured, especially for New York Fashion Week, in the way in which Emilio and I are doing this. So this is creating an enigmatic, alive, fully forced, like, just wonderful thing that no one else can do apart from us. <laughs> you know, one thing that I love about this, that, like I say, is, is I think it's a whole tribute to the American dream. Yeah. The good thing is streaming now, you go global. Right, so you exactly. reach Brazil, Argentina, you reach Mexico, you know, Europe, Spain. But realistically, we'll be able to reach a lot of people. And that is represent, you know, like, like the Consuelo say, we bring hope to people about the American dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, Consuelo, you mentioned um, inclusivity. Yeah. And um, so let's talk about that a little bit, because the show has a focus on that, and it's ensuring financial compensation for all workers that are involved in the show, yes. which is something that you don't really hear much talk about. Um, tell me, how are you both working towards achieving this level of inc inclusivity in the fashion industry? So it, it's something that's really important to me, and it's something that I really I talk a lot about. So when we were actually out and looking for sponsorship and talking to a lot of the family offices, it's, it's absolutely what I don't understand. So many people go to school and they spend years, whether I'm learning to be a writer, whether I'm learning to be a musician, why is it okay that I'm not getting paid for the same amounts that if I'm going and I'm becoming a lawyer, if I'm becoming a doctor, and there's a precedent that's absolutely that's set that creatives don't get paid the same amount. That's not okay. So we are striving to make sure that creatives are paid the same amount. So everything that goes on inside of Soho Muse is we set the bar to make sure that our creatives, that our members are paid. So everything that we're doing inside of this event is to make sure that the makeup artists, that the models, that the designers, that everyone inside of this event, we are making sure that they are taken care of and that they are financially compensated. Mm -hmm. That is a, an absolute precedent. So again, the designers, the designers aren't, let me, let me preface, I back up. The designers are not getting paid, but they are not being, they're, they're not having to pay for anything. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. the models are being paid, like we're, we're doing everything that we can inside of this to mm -hmm. make sure that they're being featured, they're being taken care of. Right. So it's, it, yeah, we're setting a totally new precedent here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about the selection process? Tell me, what went into this process for the featured designers and artists, and what criteria did you consider in when you were choosing them? Want to talk about the musicians? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
to me, what I want to incorporate is world music. Yeah. A lot of, mm -hmm. you know, rhythm from Africa, rhythm from, from the Cuba, Venezuela, me, Brazil, of course, some of the, of the, the American music. Combine all of that, I think, because, you know, nowadays, like I said, streaming, you, when yeah. you hear the global, people realize yeah. they want to hear diversity. And I think what happened, I think especially the Latino community, the second generation is really inspired uh, to be now number one all over the world. I mean, for us, it was a re very difficult beginning because people would never say, well, Congo would never work mm -hmm. and then became number one global. And then Gloria had 35 number ones. And then, of course, when I sang Jennifer or Shakira or Mark Anthony or Ricky Martin, I mean, that music became global. And that's what I like more than anything else. I think the United States is a, is a role model to show people that the American dream is happening. We have opportunities and we live in the best country in the whole world. And I want to show because I'm proud to be a, a Cuban American and I'm proud that we're able to, you know, help a new generation with respect and be able to learn how to make money and be, you know, a professional. Mm -hmm. All right. And finally, Consuelo, how do you see your experiences and background influencing the vision and execution of Latin Ignition, the magic bar? So I'm going to answer that in two questions, in two parts to this. Um, as an artist myself, um, I would say that I really look at this as giving opportunities where as as a young artist, I look at myself and I didn't have a lot of mentors. Um, so it was really important to me and when talking to Emilio that, you know, I want to give opportunities to people that, you know what, we can actually come and say, you actually have a platform, you have a stage. It's something that's so new that we want to give that to you. So that's really important for us. That's one side. The other side is my family and being the seventh generation of where Cornelius came from, he built transportation. I believe Soho News and everything that we're doing, it's the creative transportation. We are the global, trans we're transforming and building what's about to be the connectivity for all of it. All right, yeah. well, wishing you amazing success with the show. And Thank it's you. wonderful to have you here on my show, NYC Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, you know, so it's much. It's about dreams. I'm here. <laughs> listen, listen where I am now. Can I give a kiss? Yeah. <laughs>